Welcome back to the Dark and Crypt. Strange Peru attacks updates requested by a viewer. The Peruvian jungle, near Iquitos, has emerged as one of the epicenters of unexplained phenomena. Notably, US Marines were deployed to this region, emphasizing its significance. The connection between these occurrences and the rivers is a compelling aspect that cannot be overlooked. So, I did the hair on his face. I read the hair on the face. The fire comes out. I pointed it like this. I see a person. A person shines. Shine. Shine. From here. Here. What is the light does not shine. It is the light. And something that surprised us that I had never heard was the topic of helicopters. They seemed similar but then because of the quantity because we have spoken with a lot of people. We have spoken with witnesses who have told us all the details about these cases of what are called Pelicera, the shapes of their ships, how they fly. Oh lord, it's a bug. What's that? No. <laughs> it's the ocean tight. <laughs> Mom, shut up that's a drone. I think it's not a drone and what a joke. Like the chorus now, what is that? What does he do? Mysterious incidents seem to unfold in areas adjacent to rivers, suggesting a potential correlation. The Peruvian Air Force and U.S. Space Command recently signed an agreement. While the details of this agreement remain undisclosed, it raises intriguing questions regarding potential collaborative efforts in investigating these otherworldly encounters. The partnership between these entities could shed light on the enigmatic events unfolding in Peru. One of the most baffling aspects of these encounters is the appearance of tall luminous armored beings, often described as robots or astronauts. Witnesses report these beings emitting a laser-like substance which paralyzes individuals and, in some cases, renders them unconscious. Dubbed the Palacaras, these entities have become the subject of much speculation and debate regarding their origins. Welcome, dear readers, to a mind-bending expedition into the heart of the Peruvian jungle, where the line between reality and the unknown blurs. In the dense foliage near Iquitos, a series of perplexing events have unfolded, captivating the world's attention. From the deployment of U.S. Marines to bizarre encounters with luminous beings known as the Pelicaras, this region has become a theater of enigma. Join us as we unravel the cryptic links between rivers, intergovernmental agreements, historic heat waves, and astonishing discoveries akin to those presented at the UAP hearings in Mexico. Villages situated along the rivers of Peru have become targets of attacks by these alleged face feelers, or palacaras. These towering figures, measuring around 7 to 8 feet in height, have been reported to possess advanced laser weaponry technology. The identity of these beings remains a mystery, with theories ranging from involvement of the US military to extraterrestrial entities. Testimonies from witnesses paint a surreal picture of these encounters, leaving many perplexed and intrigued. One of the most baffling aspects of these encounters is the appearance of tall luminous armored beings, often described as robots or astronauts. Witnesses report these beings emitting a laser-like substance, which paralyzes individuals and, in some cases, renders them unconscious, dubbed the Palacaras. These entities have become the subject of much speculation. 
Mommy, how is it going to be little bird? Mommy, they're not little birds. They are little birds. Their wings have been seen. Oh no, how scary. That scared me, look at that. What's that? Before there were just five, I think, and now there were a lot. Indigenous people describe them as luminous humanoid beings descending from bright aerial craft to inflict grotesque injuries. Their victims are left with horrific skin burns as if their very flesh was peeled away by some mysterious force. Naturally, many dismiss these accounts as superstitious imaginings. But what if there is genuine evidence of the extraterrestrial behind it all? Of these encounters, is the manipulation of our visual processing. Witnesses describe these beings as giants, not only due to their height, but also because they appear larger than life. This unique characteristic challenges our perception of reality and raises questions about the true nature of these entities. Intriguing turn of events. Mummies similar to those presented at the recent UAP unidentified aerial phenomena hearing in Mexico were confiscated at Peru's international airport. The connection between these mummies and the ongoing encounters in the Peruvian jungle remains a subject of investigation. Could these ancient artifacts hold the key to unraveling the mysteries surrounding the Palacaras and their activities in Peru? A person is seeing me again, Erica, Erica. I swear to you on my mother's behalf that God is ugly, God, pretty Erica. May God forgive me if not, you are going to see in the video how ugly he is already leaving. Fasten your seatbelts, we're delving deep into the uncharted territories of the Peruvian jungle. The Peruvian jungle, a labyrinth of verdant mysteries, has emerged as a nexus of unexplained phenomena. Particularly intriguing is the eerie connection between these events and the winding rivers that carve through the dense foliage. The jungle's pulse seems intertwined with these waterways, weaving a tale that hints at supernatural forces. Villages situated along the rivers of Peru have become targets of attacks by these alleged face feelers, or palacaras. These towering figures, measuring around 7 to 8 feet in height, have been reported to possess advanced laser weaponry technology. Hey, it can't be up to here. Listen to me, it has gone down like this and it has gone up. Has risen? There it is. <laughs> the Lord. What's that? It's a drone. No. What is that, my God? Oh Lord, it's a bug. What's that? <laughs> no. In a clandestine development, the Peruvian Air Force and the enigmatic U.S. Space Command have forged an alliance shrouded in secrecy. The implications of this collaboration, especially in the context of the inexplicable occurrences in Peru, are mind-boggling. Could this partnership hold the key to deciphering the riddles concealed within the Peruvian jungle? Prepare to be astounded by the accounts of witnesses who have come face-to-face -face with the Pelicaras, towering luminous beings akin to robotic astronauts. Good morning, everyone. Uh, the situation we are experiencing in the community of San Antonio is really very worrying because it's almost three weeks that there's fear, uncertainty, a huge concern in the population because we are suffering those attacks from those strange beings that we often do not know precisely who they are. We only know they walk. They often don't touch the ground. There, there, were, uh, there, there were shots. They have been shot at, but without any result, they don't do anything to those gentlemen. They will be important to so the, the whole population as a whole ask for much support. But right to the national police, to the army, uh, that's going to reinforce this uh, uh, of what the villagers do at night. That's right, friends, at night, the town of San Antonio becomes a horror, a real horror, because you can't be at ease knowing they're going to kill you. Uh, so the police went to the place but only left, uh, took some notes and we because they are dressed as in silver uh, and the whole silhouette they are not bulky they are only silver they do not touch the ground it's the ocean tight <laughs> mom shut up that's a drone i think it's not a drone and what a joke like the chorus now what is that <laughs> what does he do
what's that? Here's the ring. Sure. Fine. And does it go that far? Could it be a drone? No, you shout those things. He disappeared. Reports describe these entities wielding advanced laser weaponry, leading to speculation ranging from covert military operations to extraterrestrial interventions. According to the versions of the population and even nearby the Las Palmas hunt, the presence of these beings has been felt only at night or also during daylight hours. There are those who have registered. Look, for your information, it is more that everything is being registered at starting at 6 in the afternoon. 6, 4, 5, 6, more or less until when there is still movement of people. These types of objects are being registered in space. Already. Look, look, we have just been converted here by a neighbor who is calling from the little bars that are around there. So we no longer know where we are going to go. So what I ask you from the bottom of my heart. One of the most baffling aspects of these encounters is the appearance of tall luminous armored beings, often described as robots or astronauts. Witnesses report these beings emitting a laser-like substance which paralyzes individuals and, in some cases, renders them unconscious, dubbed the Palakaras. These entities have become the subject of much speculation and debate regarding their origins. 4. Unexplained attacks and remote villages remote. Villages situated along the rivers of Peru have become targets of attacks by these alleged face feelers, or Palakaras. These towering figures, measuring around 7 to 8 feet in height, have been reported to possess advanced laser weaponry technology. The identity of these beings remains a mystery, with theories ranging from involvement of the US military to extraterrestrial entities. Testimonies from witnesses paint a surreal picture of these encounters, leaving many perplexed and intrigued. A thought-provoking aspect of these encounters is the manipulation of our visual processing. Witnesses describe these beings as giants, not only due to their height, but also because they appear larger than life. This unique characteristic challenges our perception of reality and raises questions about the true nature of these entities. In an intriguing turn of events, mummies similar to those presented at the recent UAP Unidentified Aerial Phenomena Hearing in Mexico were confiscated at Peru's International Airport. The connection between these mummies and the ongoing encounters in the Peruvian jungle remains a subject of investigation. Could these ancient artifacts hold the key to unraveling the mysteries surrounding the Palacaras and their activities in Peru? Conclusion As we conclude our exploration into the ancient aliens and unexplained encounters in the Peruvian jungle, we are left with more questions than answers. The deployment of U.S. Marines, the Peruvian Air Force and U.S. Space Command Agreement, the historic heat wave, and the encounters with the Palacaras all contribute to the enigmatic nature of this phenomenon. The remote villages along the rivers bear witness to these otherworldly occurrences, while the manipulation of our visual processing challenges our understanding of reality with the discovery of mummies similar to those presented at the UAP hearing. The possibility of uncovering ancient secrets becomes even more tantalizing. Let us continue to explore, question, and seek the truth behind these extraordinary events as we strive to understand the mysteries that surround us. Thank you for tuning in to The Dark and Crypt, and if you enjoyed the journey, show some love by hitting the like button, sharing with your friends, and subscribing to our channel. Stay tuned for more exciting adventures coming your way.